Greetings, brothers and sisters. My name is Linda, and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I hope and pray that you are watching for the rapture, full of hope and not fearful. God is in control, and in fact, the eclipse is his handiwork. I want to read parts of Psalms 19 to show you this and to give you some words that I felt that the Lord gave me. Psalms 19, 1 through 4 says, The heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day it utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech and nor language where the, its voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth and the, their words to the end of this world. And that was Psalms 19, 1 through 4. The stars, moon, sun, planets, comets, and the eclipse are speaking. God is using them with the language barrier removed. They have speech and they can be understood by all the people of the earth. The eclipse points to a message that God wants us to understand. It's pointing to the soon great tribulation and the soon rapture for the bride. God says in Romans 120 that for since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So God uses nature to point to his glory, power, and his events. God then made the eclipse to reveal himself and to glorify himself. There have been other eclipses, but the convergence of signs with it point to a time of darkness that is coming. At this time, there are both God-created activities and man-made evil agendas. God created the eclipse to pass through Mexico, the United States, and Canada, and it is uniquely marking a giant X over the entirety of the United States. There is a fault line under the X. There is a comet in the sky called the Devil's Comet. There are planets in the line as if they are pointing. The scripture of Psalms 19 said, their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. There are also man-made events happening, CERN and rockets from NASA and nuclear threats. What does all this point to? This is the great question that all of us are pondering. CERN points to man running with man-made devilish ideas to rule the world and change it in harmful ways. The disappearance of the sun with a later return to light certainly speaks of a time of darkness over the earth in the great tribulation with the light returning later. Who is that light? We know it is, he is Jesus, who will bring a light again after the Great Tribulation. The wars and rumors of wars and the Devil's Comet demand we look up long enough from our own pursuits to realize the rapture is almost upon us so that we can be ready and watching. I want to share a word that I felt the Lord gave me. Feel, feel free to test all the words. And here's what I felt he said. My children, my beloved bride, April 8th, 2024 is a day carved in history, a day of peace, a day of gloom, a day of light, a day of darkness, hope for some and a word of judgment for others. Such is my kingdom. I am the lion and the lamb. A receptacle of trouble is this mark upon this nation. It is a sign indeed, marked by an event which will be remembered. Psalms 19 says, The glory of the heavens which speak my word are loud and clear. The statements are the reasons pinpointed in which this nation has missed the mark. And that's, he pointed to Psalms 19, 7 through 11, which I'll read later. But hope will arise in my bride whose eyes are fixed on her release. She knows not the day or hour, but she knows the bridegroom. She will say, come, Lord Jesus, come. Her wedding garments are white. 
cleansed in my blood. Her crown is waiting. My beloved, my eyes are on you also. My love is like the glorious sun coming as a bridegroom from his chamber. Psalms 19, 5 and 6. The virgin bride rises to meet me. Children, fear not, though the earth fades away and evil men seem to have power. The meek who love the earth, who love me, will inherit the earth. Press into the promises of my return and step up into the embrace of my love. In this dark time, your light will shine, Isaiah 61 and 2, and your eternal destiny will follow, which is the destiny of the kingdom and your eternal life. And this is what I felt he shared. Here's some other parts of the scripture he highlighted, Psalms 19, 5, and 6. In them he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run his race. Its rising is from one end of the heaven and its circuit to the other end, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. Jesus is coming out of his chamber. He is rejoicing and will run like a strong man for his bride. Psalms 19, 7 through 11 speaks of the ways of his kingdom. God has given us his laws, his testimony, his statutes, his commandments, and the fear of the Lord to keep them. If they are broken, there is judgment. God shows us the positive outcome if we choose to walk with him. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold. Yea, than much fine gold sweeter also than honey in the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. God is so good and is giving and has given time and wisdom to repent of walking in our own ways and to return to him. This is one of the main messages of the eclipse. Return, repent, follow his ways, because he is coming. I hope you have a blessed day and are looking up. This is Linda with Simple Help Now.